Dozens of climate experts are criticizing a recent Energy Department report on greenhouse gases, saying it is full of errors. In a 439-page review, the group says the DOE cherry-picked or misrepresented climate science. The Trump administration's report claims global warming induced by carbon dioxide is not as damaging economically as commonly believed. Now, the climate experts' review is just the latest criticism of the federal government, which has been working to edit scientific research to support President Trump's policies. Andrew Dessler joins us now. He's a professor of atmospheric sciences at Texas A&M University, who helped organize the international climate experts for this review. Thank you for joining us. So why are climatologists saying this report is wrong? And why does accurate climate information and reporting from government agencies matter? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Um, right. So let me start out by saying that the science of climate change is probably the most scrutinize and reproduce science in the history of the world. And because of that, it's actually one of the most robust uh, scientific fields. And this report really doesn't reflect any of that. It's full of half-truths and miscitations of the literature and some just sort of obvious errors due to a lack of understanding of the, the literature. And so it doesn't reflect this at all. And it's very important that the science be right in these because the government is gonna be making policy from this. And so if you have a report that's full of errors, how can you make good policy based on that? So give us an, an example of something glaring, you know, for you and, and as other climatologists are going, wait, how is this in this report? Right, probably the most glaring error is about extreme weather. This is incredibly important. Uh, extreme weather is, is or I should say climate change is already making extreme weather more extreme. We already see it. There's no question that it's, it's, it's occurring and it's bad for humanity. And, um, you know, in the report, they just say, you know, we don't know. There's no trend, which is maybe technically true in some cases, but extremely misleading. So that's one example. It's 439 pages. How does this report compare to other prominent climate research, like from the World Health Organization or even UN reports, for example? Right. So this, uh, this report, imagine a rowboat next to a battleship. Most assessments are enormous bodies of work. Thousands of authors work for years to read tens of thousands of science, uh, scientific analyses. Uh, this report was written by five hand-picked scientists who were selected because of what they said, because they were skeptical of climate change. And um, you know, they worked for two months and they produced a report that didn't go through any kinds of review. They just wrote something and released it. So this is not, the process was not credible. Hmm. And because of that, I think the report is not credible. In a statement to CBS News, uh, the Energy Department said in part that following the public comment period for this review, it looks forward to reviewing and engaging with comments. So what do you expect, if anything, to come from that? Do you think there'll be any changes as a result from hearing from people like you? Well, I have no idea what they're going to do. Um, but I will say this. I mean, I've obviously looked through our comment. I mean, hundreds of pages of comments. There are only five of them. I find it very difficult to believe that they can do any kind of reasonable revision to their document, um, given the, uh, you know, just our comment, let alone they've received thousands of comments. So, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see what they do, but I'm, I'm not skeptical we're going to see a, a well-revised uh, document. All right. Andrew Dessler, thank you for your time. We'll see what happens. Thank you.